Kitsai was immediately surrounded by his students the moment he stepped into this fourth grade classroom. diplomat with the Ministry of Commerce, the 72-year-old worked as a commercial counselor in countries like Tanzania, Nepal, and Canada for 17 years. After retiring, Ju and his wife Sun Li Na, a former teacher, gave up their cozy retired life in Beijing and moved to southwest China's Guizhou province in 2005 to teach rural kids after they learned about the poor state of local education there. Nine years later, they teach at five different rural schools, offering classes in areas ranging from English and computers to physical education and music. Ju still remembers the difficulties he faced when he started teaching English classes, even though his English is fluent due to his work as a diplomat. Though I have worked with many different dignitaries, I wasn't always good at communicating with kids. They would not focus in my classes, and often go off to play on their own. It also took time for the couple to adjust to the harsh local living conditions. When teaching at some schools, they have to take a four-hour walk to the nearest township to find a working shower. The couple is currently living and working at the Longping Primary School. Although their housing is cramped, they think it's the best place they've ever lived. While living abroad, we got used to attending banquets and gatherings. There is a sharp contrast between working as a rural teacher and working as a diplomat. But we've adjusted to live here. We live more simply and have got to know the locals. The couple have found their work quite rewarding and they are proud of the progress that their students have made. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Is it? It's ten. Eh, hey, it's what? It's ten. So, open, open, open. Now you don't know. Ah, ten. ten. It's ten. Ten. I have seen big changes in these kids. At the beginning, some of them didn't even know what English was, let alone how to speak it. But now they use it to greet us whenever we meet. The couple plan to keep teaching for as long as they're able to do so. Some of my students are now middle school students. Sometimes, when they come to visit me, they ask whether I feel lonely here. But I say no, because I still have plenty more kids to teach. And I also read and sing in my spare time.